And for our top story of the day, we have full team coverage across the U.S. as the Iowa women's basketball team took on South Carolina in the NCAA Women's Basketball Championship. We will start with DITV, Michael, DITV's Michael Merrick from Cleveland, Ohio. It's certainly been a special year, and to be honest, like, after last year, I was kind of like, well, how do I top, how do we top doing what we did last year? And somehow, some way, every single person in our locker room believed, and to be honest, this year was probably more special than last year. It's the end of an era. Iowa's 87-75 to loss in the national championship to South Carolina will be the final time that Caitlin Clark and the rest of the Hawkeye seniors wear the black and gold. Yeah, I can't believe this is my last career game, and uh, there's just there's just so much to be proud of. Um, I think people didn't love us for our wins. I think they loved us for the way we carried ourselves every single day, for the way we played for one another, the joy we played with, the passion we played with, the competitive spirit we had. So I think they're just gonna you know remember the moments that they shared at one of our games or sh watching on TV or um, you know how excited their young daughter or son got about you know watching women's basketball. I think that's pretty cool, and that's you know. Those are the things that mean the most to me. Seeing you know little girls and little boys look up to us, want our autograph, enjoy watching women's basketball, that is just something so cool and so special. And I think forever will be known, like I said, our legacy as a team that's really kind of changed women's basketball in a sense. I'm proud of my team, though. I mean, finishing national runner-up two years in a row is an amazing feat. Always saying goodbye to your seniors is really, really tough. And every time you see a season, and it's another chapter closed, and, and that's tough. But I am gonna know we're going to look back on this and, and be very, very proud of the effort that we gave this year. This Iowa team has done things never before seen in the sport. From playing in front of 55,000 in Kinnick Stadium to being the first Big Ten team to ever play in back-to-back -back title games. But the players won't look back and think about wins and losses. They'll remember the friendships and bonds that'll last them a lifetime. The relationships I've made with them, like I will have them in my life forever. They'll probably be in my wedding. Like um, truly we have a bond that like cannot be broken. Um, I love these girls to death. I love these coaches. I love this program and these have been some of the best five years of my life. I'm just very happy and proud and I feel really grateful for everything, for Coach Bluter for believing in me and just, you know, for all my teammates that I've had since my freshman year until now. Um, you know, I know it's not over with my teammates because we're going to be friends for life. My relationships with my teammates have really grown and that has been such a blessing for me to see um, that these are girls that I've spent a lot of hours with um, week in week out so just to know that those relationships are ones that I'll take with me forever and ones that have grown um, and really are true friendships. I think I'm just gonna remember all the small memories um, the team meals the bus rides dancing in the locker room um, that that kind of stuff I mean obviously this burns pretty bad right now but it's also something that we should be really happy about so I think I'll remember that as well. And Iowa may have come up short in the national championship game once again, but they exceeded every expectation they had this season. And while it'll be Clark and the other seniors final time taking the floor for the Hawks, the impact and legacy they left on women's basketball in the University of Iowa will live on forever. Now let's go to Brady Barron with the emotions in Carver. Thanks, Michael. For the second year in a row, Hawkeye fans filled the east side of Carver Hawkeye Arena. And for the second year in a row, those fans left heartbroken. Iowa fans brought the energy pregame, and even though Iowa was playing an undefeated South Carolina squad, expectations were high. I have all the faith in the world in our team. Obviously, if we make it to the championship, we deserve to be there. Even though they couldn't be at the game, the fans still wanted to create a big game atmosphere in the arena that hosted this team all year long. I just wanted to be here for the environment. I mean, I knew this place was going to be was going to be packed. I, I knew it was going to be loud. Um, I mean, Iowa City just shows out for a women's team. While Iowa was unable to get the win, the fans in Carver were still grateful for the successful season. I feel like the girls did everything that they could. I was like crying over there to see Kaylin Clark go and all of the seniors. It was a really good season. Like they're such an inspiration to young girls and young boys everywhere who want to get into basketball. And when they saw the injured Molly Davis take the floor for the last time, the fans back home gave her a standing ovation. She did everything she could. It was very unfortunate that she was unable to play most of the games, but getting there out in those 30 seconds or however long it was amazing. 
And as the fans in Carver Hawkeye Arena trickle out for the last time this year, the popularity of this women's basketball team has made new fans all across the nation. We'll send it to DITV's Johnny Vaultman in Washington, D.C. Yes, Brady. And while the hometown Nationals just got done with a baseball game, Iowa fans here in Washington, D.C. made their way to bars like Mission to celebrate the Iowa women's basketball team. We love hosting Iowa fans. It's a really fun crowd. We've got a ton of Caitlin Clark jerseys here tonight. While the country's been wrapped up with the team, for Hawkeye alumni in D.C., it's a way to build a community. I know that on Saturdays or whatever game day it is, I can find people that, and even in a new place, that uh, that I can, you know, have something in common with and, and have a lot of fun with them. Nationals, Hawkeyes, and anyone found themselves drawn to the national championship and Iowa start. A lot of people here aren't, aren't even, they didn't even go to Iowa. They're just fans of the school and fans of hers. It's really amazing what she's done for the, pro, what the program's done for women's basketball. And despite the result, Iowa fans still made a memory with the team. I mean, it's very disappointing, um, but I think, you know, we've just had such a great season and I'm so proud of our team and, and just so proud of everything they've done. It's been just such a great journey. The energy was off the charts in D.C. and back in Iowa City where Jace Bertrand was bouncing around bars, taking in the scene at the Hawkeyes' home. Yeah, thanks, Johnny. There are over a dozen bars in Iowa City, but if you go into each and every one of them, you're probably going to get the same answer of what the energy is like. This game is absolutely electric. I love the vibe. Sunny day. Baskets falling through. Great entry in here. I'm so happy in Albury. This is my home. Everyone's getting down for the game. And let's go, Hawkeyes! For the second year in a row, Hawkeye fans took to downtown Iowa City to watch the Iowa women's basketball team battle it out for the national championship. Let's go, Hawks! Let's go, Hawks! Let's go, Hawks! Packing bars and restaurants alike, Students and Iowa City community members bonded over their shared love for the Hawkeyes. Iowa City's, we're buzzing right now. We are buzzing. Whole city is unreal. The hammers are flowing. Um, it's been a good day. I think I need a couple waters, but the, you know, the jump. atmosphere has been unbelievable. It's awesome. It's Everywhere so you electric. go, you just see fans. Yeah, I love it. You know, it's a great day to be an Iowa fan. You know, I'm just, I'm here with my friends right now. We're having so much fun. As the game pressed on, you could hear a mix of cheers. <laughs> and booze. <laughs> However, the Iowa women's basketball team fell short in the last quarter, leaving some fans disappointed in the ending. Obviously, I feel terrible. We should have won that game. That was our game, guys. South Carolina might have been the better team today, but you know what? We're the better team. Feelings in general are just, I'm still so proud of them, and they've, they've kind of set a new path for what women's sports are going to be. And despite another heartbreaking loss this year, Hawkeye fans around the globe and here in downtown Iowa City are still proud of the girls. From downtown Iowa City, Jace Bertrand, DITV. Go Hawks!